Hey everyone, uh, how's it going? Uh, I just want to talk about, you know, how things have been going with Lost Ark because I've been addicted to this game and how much I've progressed um, in the game so far. Um, let's just get right into it. Right now my item level is 966. I like that it's 966.6, .6. it's kind of funny. Anyways, but um, basically, I uh, I went straight from tier 1 to 966 because I had so many mats in my inventory. Um, I believe I have a lot right now even. Yeah. Uh, not so much um, the life leap stone, life leap stones, um, but still. Uh, but yeah, I've mo I've made a a pretty good, a decent amount of progress. Um, I'm actually really glad with where I got. I haven't been trying to rush the game or trying to progress super duper fast. I've just been taking my time doing whatever I want to do, just having a great time playing the game going it for what it is and um yeah so if we take a look here uh my half of this stuff isn't really leveled enough uh see they're actually really low I, nice <laughs> um but yeah i don't i haven't been doing a lot of side quests i've just been doing a lot of main quests and doing the uh roster quests for like island souls and such or skill anything that gives me skill points uh I haven't like 100% of places yet, but I'll uh, I'll get to that in the future. Um, but yeah, most of my stuff is pretty low. You can see that my crit is 285, my spec is uh, 925. This is pr this is pretty much pretty important uh, for uh, uh, Dead Eye either either build. You end up going with a lot of spec because of what it gives you, and the crit is just for the little bit of extra crit rate. I already have a lot of crit rate uh, naturally on the pistol abilities. They give you a lot of bonus crit rate just for using them. But um, yeah, that that number doesn't that number you can actually have that number at zero and you'll be fine. Uh, my engravings, I do have one red engraving, which is an attack speed reduction, which I was hoping to get rid of, but I haven't been lucky enough to get that yet. Um, uh, obviously maxed out pistol there with an extra one, uh, cause one of my uh accessories gives me I think plus two, and I just only need a plus one. Uh, I'll go over my engravings here in a bit. Uh, Master Ambush is only level 1. Uh, it's fine though. Uh, I know that in tier 3 a lot of these get boosted up pretty quickly. And you can have tier 2s tier and even t several tier 3s. I'm not really that pushed or like rushed right now to get this up to like being really high level. Um, also, all out attack. Now, I would have preferred this to be uh, Cursed Doll. Like my like I had in pre and previously in tier 1. But all out attack works fine. Um... It's, it's fine. It doesn't bother me. I mean, I'm not really getting a whole lot of benefit from it. I'm pr pretty much getting no benefit from it. But, you know, it's there. And so why not? Uh, I had, Like I said, I do have an attack speed reduction. It's only 2%, so it's not bothering me too much. Uh, not not really, you know, phasing the builds. Uh, my gems aren't like Ultra Omega, and I don't even have one socketed here. Uh, but a lot of the really high level ones I have is one to get Cruel Tracker's damage up since Cruel Tracker is already basically one of the highest damaging abilities for the Deadeye. It's pretty much the one you're going to use all the time. Uh, I have one for Meteor, St Me Meteor Storm's cooldown. This is pretty important since Meteor Storm is a lot of your where your stagger is going to come from. It's pretty high stagger. Um, oh, Meteor Stream. Sorry, I call it Meteor Storm. Anyways, but it's a, it's a lot of your stagger. It's pretty great. Uh, and plus, so you want it off cooldown a lot as much as you can, so that you can hit the uh, hit bosses with it when you need it. Uh, equilibrium damage. Equilibrium is literally like my favorite ability. It is like the bread and butter of Dead Eye. It feels like, uh, especially Pistolier, since you're going to be using a lot. You just use a lot of your pistol abilities. Equilibrium is absolutely insane for it. it is what's going to do a lot of damage to your uh, the boss you're fighting. And as you can see, how I have it set up, I get 100% extra crit damage. So. I, I know that my build isn't, you know, optimal, I guess, for bosses and raiding. Technically, you would want to spec into more um, damage over time. But we'll get more into the skill tree. Everything else is just cooldown or, or part damage increases. Uh, because cooldown is pretty much necessary in this game. My dexterity shot literally has, like, a cooldown of, like, three seconds. Uh, so, you, I constantly have a movement ability. My cards are just uh, damage from bosses, reduction, max health, and all element, elemental damage reduction. This one I can change to do even um, more HP if I feel like I need it. It'll probably put me over the 40k mark, but I'm not too uh, stressed about it. 
we'll go we'll go ahead and go straight into abilities. I have 294 skill points. Still, I'm at level 50. I haven't hit level 51 or two yet. I know once you hit 52, uh, I should be pretty high up there. I should be in like the 300s, and then I just need to progress a little bit more of the collectibles. Um. So with pistolier, I pretty much you know you only get the pistol skills, so you don't you don't really have that many skills to select from. Um, if you're playing if you're playing uh, enhanced weapon. You're pretty much only gonna use you're gonna use mostly these you're gonna use these two and mostly the shotgun abilities but that's not not important um spiral tracker uh my goal is to get this up so i can either have whirlpool or heavy duty probably heavy duty since it can stack up to two which will be nice uh, i've switched fingers on this to increase the attack speed uh the grenade for weak weak point exposure the enhanced damage and then the uh extra explosion uh, which is pretty great. Um, most of this is just because why not? You want the I pretty much always want this up, weakness weakness exposure, which is why I debated it putting it on my gun as well on the spiral tracker. But I found that um, since this is up enough now that the by the time usually this is over, I'm getting this back or I'm about to get it back. Plus, I have another uh, one of my later on abilities here in a second. Also gives a weakness exposure. So uh, if one of them is down, the other one is up usually. Um, enforced execution. I use this as a movement ability pretty much only. I know that it has upper kick. And it, uh, the vital point hit and makes the upper kick do a 100% crit rate. That you don't really need. I mostly, like I said, use it for movement, which would be technically light footwork would be better because you you'd move you know you get the idea but i just use this one it's fine it's great for if you're just trying to hit a mob or you just want to hit the boss with it anyways because you're going to blow all your cooldowns on the boss that's fine it doesn't really matter you can use this you can use light footwork if you're that's what you're really looking for i don't use plasma bullet but i know that it's good it's a good alternative that you can take off spiral tracker and run plasma bullet if that's what you prefer and um it's 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 got pretty good stuff. I would recommend going plasma split, but I can understand this one. It's just a lot slower uh, of an ability. The plasma split is pretty nice, but um, meteor stream. This is pretty much if you're gonna play pistol, you're probably gonna run meteor stream anyways because of what it does. It's it's one of your big stagger abilities. It's a big damage ability, and you can set it up so that it uh, it's got it does uh, more damage to push immune foes. It ignores the defense, and then you can make it so it uh, its attack speed is increased uh, by 20%, and its damage is increased by 60%. Now, you could be saying, why not use Bombardment? Bombardment is typically a lot slower. Uh, this one is a lot... Meteor Fall is a lot easier to hit than Bombardment, because Meteor Fall, you shoot it up, and it goes straight. usually goes straight there. Bombardment can take a while. You can shoot it up, you have to shoot it up, and then you have to cast, and the boss can move a lot, which is a typical uh, problem with the Deadeye, because a lot of your abilities are going to am an animation lock you. Um, a lot of the ones that you want to use, anyways. Somersault Shot. If you really want a different mobility than Dexteritis and Enforce Execution, Somersault will, Somersault will be fine. You can do Double Jump. Um, or just whatever you're looking for. Um, I don't personally use it, because I find that... Uh, uh, Enforced Execution, which is also a counter, and Dexterity Shot are generally enough, and they get you moved pretty far anyways. Equilibrium. This is the bread and butter of Pistolier Deadeye. Uh, I have Weakness Exposure on, but you could honestly go High Speed Shot. It's generally probably more efficient to do High Speed Shot, but if you really want to make sure that you're always applying that Weakness Exposure, you can run it on here. It's got a 12 second cooldown instead of the 8 that it has on the grenade. Now, this is where we get into the, the this is this is what I do, and it's not necessarily what you need to be doing. So, I have range shot, which increases my crit damage by 100%, and then my attack range by 20%. So, this one's this one's pretty good because I was going for mostly crit. I was going for high crit, uh, dead eye, just because that's what I I've come from a lot of games, and a lot of usually in those games crit is the meta. I know that technically, if you want to be efficient with dead eye, you should run damage over time and status. So if you really want to be um, efficient with Deadeye, you would run a, probably want to run uh, High Speed Shot, Decimation Shot, and then Burn Effect. Um, this is because uh, this, you can see that it does a lot. It does a lot of damage, and 
You can set it up so that they're taking this and they're taking bleed from your ATO too. It's just great. Holding fire. Holding fire is great if you're going to uh, do chaos dungeons. Holding, holding uh, the death. I call it holding fire. Death fire. Sorry. Um, either you shoot in a circle around you, and then you like flip and you throw grenades in a circle. It's pretty great for clearing mobs pretty quickly. Uh, other than that, I haven't really spent a lot of time investing in these. Now, I haven't gotten this. I haven't tried these two, but I've tried this one. And a lot of the reason I do not use Deathfire is that Deathfire is heavily animation locked because it is a holding ability. But the problem is, is that once you land the animation and the animation is over, then you have to throw grenades. Now, the issue with those grenades is that if you're fighting a boss, a lot of times the boss will move before those grenades even blow up. So I, I don't like to use uh, Deathfire, but if you're doing Chaos Dungeon, this one is great because the mobs will get all around you and it's a it's a 360 hit. Um, Dexterity Shot. Now this is tr pretty much strictly a movement ability. I don't know a lot of people that ever use this for damage. Um, that's why I have attack speed increase and I have excellent mobility. Um, you could argue that you could use, use it for damage if that's what you really want to do, but I prefer to use it for movement simply because it does actually move you pretty quickly and moving the extra, you know, one meter is going to save your life in certain situations when you don't have your dodge. Now, we'll get into the other very important abilities in this tree. Um, cruel Tracker and Quick Shot. So Quick Shot... Quick Shot does a lot more than you think it does. So, um... It now you shoot and then you charge up like a giant orange laser and it like or like ball and then you blast. It's like a beam and it's insane. And I'll, we'll get to it. So quick shot already by itself. We'll just read the numbers here. It says it quickly fires two times, inflicting thirteen thousand six hundred fifty-five damage, and it can be shot twice, which is already good. Then you have swift fingers, which will increase the attack speed. This is pretty much what you're probably gonna run. I don't know why you'd run anything else, uh, unless you want cooldown. But I don't like. It's only one second. So. I mean, the time to cast the next one it's only one second so i guess you know whatever uh then you want initiate shot uh it basically says uh on hit damage is 100 percent plus 100 percent to the to a consecutive hit within three seconds you could go gradual devastation but i don't know i don't i think this i think you should just use initiate shot i'm pretty sure they work together uh quick pace i don't I mean, if you need, if you really want move speed, I guess go for it. But I, usually, if you're using this, you do want to hit them with the flat, big damage. It's a, uh, it's pretty important. And then final light, um, it increases your cooldown by 12 seconds. But you get weak point, you become immune to paralysis, and uh, it increases dam it increases the damage to foes by 600 percent. Um, whereas the other one only increases the attacks to three. This one increases it by 600 percent. It's pretty insane. Then, Cruel Tracker, another great one. Uh, it's like, you believe you spray in like a little bit of a cone in front of you, and you fire off two shots. I think. Yeah. I have Swift Fingers on it, simply because the attack speed is pretty important. It becomes, a, you know, you don't realize how important attack speed is until you, until you have, until you want it, and then you like, and you do things just quickly. Uh, these other two, I don't really think that they're necessary. Vita point hit increases the crit rate. Once again, I told you guys I'm going for a crit build, so this was just uh, simple to me. Uh, the crit rate is just increased. Um, you could argue that you could probably go this one. Rapid fire enhancement. You know, get the increased uh, damage, and the rapid fire count is three. Is uh, three more? But I just wanted the crit. Quick draw. This is pretty much the other one, only one I've used. I haven't used explosive bullet. Um. So it, it makes it so that the second attack that you do at the end of it, uh, so you will you will spray and then you'll go, you'll shoot once and then this one makes it so you shoot again. Uh, I find this to be pretty good. It's only 40% outgoing damage, but uh, it's faster and can be used twice. But why not? Um, explosive bullet. From what I've heard, this is slow and it's it's a big as fuck, and typically runs into mob like hits mobs. But if you're if you're not worried about that, then you could go explosive bullet. Just make sure that you're hit point blank when you cast it. So that's pretty much the abilities and what I've been running. I've got runes and I need to change one now because I've got this one. Uh, we can go ahead and do that real quick. Um, so yeah, that's 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 the abilities I've been rocking. 
Uh, now we can go ahead and look at my adventurous tome. You can see I have not 100% any any places yet, which I'm gonna have to do at some point. And I also haven't gone through an 80 percentage uh, uh, Rohandel yet. But all right. Um, as you can see, I've got 40, 40s, a bunch of this. A lot of the ones that I have leveled up are the ones that gave skill points. So East of Terra gives a skill point. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. That's what I. That's mostly what I was. That's mostly what I did it for. And then uh, North Vern gives a skill point at 60%. Once again, it's mostly what I did it for. I didn't do it for any, I didn't do any, get anything else. And then Shushire gives a skill point. And I haven't gone through and got the rest of these. Uh, just cause I wanted a skill point. And then, oh, and then I know uh, Rohandel has one at 70%. Um, so I need to get that. And I believe there's one more, uh, I think it starts with, I thought it was one of these, is like, uh, 80%, you have to get 80%, is it this one? I don't know. I thought it started with an R, and there's not a whole lot of those, so I don't know. But one of them you have to get 80%, and then you'll get the, you get a skill point potion, a, a, a greater one. But this, that's just, so that's just these ones, so far I haven't, uh, you know. Done Rohanda yet, but I'll have to go through and do that eventually. And then um, I'm currently at Phaeton. And my collectibles are looking pretty sh in pretty uh, in shambles compared to what a lot of people are doing. So I've seen a lot of these like really like well done in mech and like pretty close to being like like capped or not even capped but like really like far. So I've only gotten 20 island souls. I only collected 20 because I only wanted to get a skill point potion once again it was going after skill points um but i will tell you um i probably gonna i'm probably gonna end up doing more of these simply because uh i just want to get uh resources and enhancement materials um uh i've collected 271 moko uh, mokoko seeds i just end up collecting those as i'm out in the wild sometimes i go through and i why well, get all of them whenever i go through and get the skill points for a zone giant hearts i have gotten none of the rapport of giant hearts um i've only gone through and done the ones that i can do without rapport at the current time which is fine but it kind of sucks that i'm gonna have to go through and do rapport which it doesn't bother me that there's a lot of skill point potions uh, involved with this, so I'm gonna have to get that. Um, then uh, I have collected no Omnium stars. I don't even know how you get these, to be honest with you. Uh, I've collected a little bit of the masterpieces. Most of the time, this is just completely on accident. Ignea tokens, I have none. Uh, World Tree leaves, I have. I keep getting them just because I I I just do a lot of foraging uh uh logging and mining so i can progress uh my stronghold and sea bounties i have like none i don't even, i'm not even really sure you know what those are all about but yeah um no i've made a lot of my gold back i don't know if you saw but previously in the last couple of days i was almost at like 15 gold now at 4,000. <coughs> but yeah I just want to show off my progression, everything about my character, just my character in general is how far I am right now. Uh, we can look at my card collection, I guess, right before we go. Um, I actually maxed it out. I need to buy the more of these expansion slots, but I've got loads of these cards. I know a lot of people have, are near finished with some of these, uh, some of these, but, um, yeah, I've, I've gotten a lot of them. I haven't gotten any of these ones down here or this way. Um, but yeah, that's mostly it. Uh, and then I guess we can also look at our, my engravings as well. So my engravings are pretty much, I most of these are he, that are here need to be leveled up by blue books or are about to be pushed to purple. So drops of ether, this, the game just gives this one to you basically. That's the only reason I have that. Grudge needs a purple book. It's at it's at plus six. Uh, Cursed All is going is got is going to be my next one to go to plus six. 
Um, uh, I only need five more of those books. Supercharged because I was investing in something on my when I played Sharpshooter and I realized now that it was dumb because it's pointless. Uh, Ambush Master is uh, really important for Deadeye, so I'm getting this leveled up. Uh, after I get Cursed All, it'll be Ambush Master. Crushing Fist is here just because uh, I don't know why I got this. Keen, weapon, keen Blunt Weapon is definitely going up next. Um, that's, a, that's really important for me to get up there. Uh, now, my class engravings. My pistol here is at plus uh, 6. It needs to go to plus 9. Uh, and enhanced weapon, you pretty much only want this really at plus 3. Uh, to be honest with you, you don't need to go up to the 30% crit rate. You really only need the 20%. Um, everything past that is kind of just like overkill. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to show you guys my... Um, my account so far and everything in it i know it's not as impressive as some people it's pretty pretty sad in comparison to what a lot of people have but just wanted to show it off um but yeah um so thank you guys for watching um hope you guys are having a nice day hope you guys are having fun with lost ark i hope you guys have been you know your roles have been going well and uh you've been you've been clearing all the dungeon guardian raids quick um but yeah guys thanks for watching and uh, peace.